Welcome everyone. This is a walkthrough of a year one A-level chemistry past paper question. Details are in the description. I'll show you how to use percentage abundances of isotopes to calculate relative atomic mass. These are sometimes called RAM calculations and involve rearranging mathematical equations. I'll also explain why isotopes of the same elements have identical chemical properties. This is the format for the walkthrough. Let's get started. Here's the question, pause the video and press play when you're ready for the answer. Let's look at the chemical properties first of all. Isotopes are atoms of the same elements, they have the same proton number, but have different numbers of neutrons. This is a definition that you could be asked for in exams and you should try to memorise it. Chemical properties are linked to how an atom reacts. Chemical reactions involve bonds breaking and forming and chemical bonds involve outer shell electrons. To address the question, isotopes of strontium have identical chemical properties because all isotopes of an element have the same electron configuration. Next, we'll go through the calculation. We are given the relative atomic mass of strontium in the question. Relative atomic mass is the average mass of an atom compared to 1 12th of the mass of an atom of carbon-12. Again, this is a definition that may come up in exams. We use the equation shown to work out relative atomic mass. To solve this equation, we need to use logic and algebra. The sum of the percentage abundances must be 100. The strontium-86 and 87 isotopes are present in a 1 to 1 ratio. If the percentage of strontium-86 is equal to x, then the percentage of strontium-87 must also be equal to x. The percentage of strontium-88 is 100 minus 2x. Next, we have to substitute the percentage of each isotope into the relative atomic mass equation using terms of x. We are also given the relative atomic mass of strontium in the question. We can put this into the equation too. Now we can solve to find x. This can be daunting at first, but with practice you will get there. Show you're working out clearly and take it one step at a time. First, multiply both sides of the equation by 100. Multiply out the brackets. Collect like terms. Take the x terms to the left of the equation and move the 8,770 to the right. At this stage, you may think that the final answer is x equals 10. This is true, but remember, we need to find a percentage of strontium 88. Here's the final answer. 80% of the isotopes in this sample are strontium-88. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Post in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions. Take care.